Hi guys, welcome to the Voice Squad. Today I'm gonna be talking about about fire hair. So guys, sorry if you keep seeing this. Um, it's like because my bed is like in the window, so the lighting goes over there. So, um, this week, like yesterday, I got like 20 subscribers. So welcome guys to my channel, and don't forget to turn on the not notification bell so you can stay yeah, updated up on my, all my videos. And yeah. Let's just get started with the video. So I have seen many TikToks about sign hair, like he appears like in uh, someone video that appears in the lake, but but he mostly appears in like in the woods and and attacks people. So yesterday, um, I was researching about it and I found an article, so I decided to pen it out and I'm gonna be reading it to you guys because it's so long, so. While I'm talking, I'm just gonna be putting some images and some clips about what I, about I'm, about what I'm talking about. Okay, guys. So just let's get started. So Sirenhead, also read in a Sirenhead, and most rarely Sirenhead is a hostile cryped and urban legend created by the by the artist Trevor Henderson. It is a tall, mysterious humanoid creature known for its odd appearance and the various sounds that in many out of his head which consists a of a metallic hole with signs attached to it so this is why it appears that this character is fake obviously um i don't know if it's fake or i don't know but it says like um it's describing how he looks like he's like a very common um like a very tall monster I think it's like the tallest, uh, how's it called, Godzilla. So I found like a story from the web from the website, so I'm gonna be telling you guys. So she was on a vacation with her husband, and they were scooping out some graveyards on the way, as you know, do. When she saw it rising out, of, rising out of the old cemetery, big as an old Macambre telephone was some kind of bizarre RP authority hiding gone and worse wise to you. Even as she stepped out of the car, the megaphones on its head screeched to the live 1918 918 one, ch um, one. child 17 removed a vial. A buzzing double voice scream random words at her. At this point it just into motion Striding down the hill toward her, so it's like telling her, like, it's telling this. What it means, this is like, it's a high story. Like, there was like, a girl, like, she was like, like in the uh, like in the cemetery. Then she heard like a noise, like a buzzy noise. Then when it's when she saw when she saw Sirenhead and Sirenhead was chasing her. So that's what I got in this part. So, guys, I'm gonna be telling the origin. So, it says. Originally, Sirenhead was created back in 2018 by Canadian horror type artist known as Trevor Henderson, who is known for making very bizarre creatures all over the internet. His other inclusion include Cartoon Cat, the Country Road Creature, the Bridge Worms, and the Man with the Upside Down Face, the Smile Room, and Good Boy, and Lamb, and the and the giants and long horse so this so i think this is fake but because it says like this character was created by by how's it called it was created by trevor henderson so he made like many uh, like many characters about it, like many s characters so i'm gonna be putting like some images some clips about it and also i found this the first photo of brian head he was he, he was made the one featuring Sirenhead at the graveyard, in a, up at the graveyard, in which the, in which he wrote a story about. Henderson was mentioned that Sirenhead is very similar to the famous creepypasta character today known as Slenderman, and that both characters got edited into real life photos, which the story made by regarded them. So, I think this is not like a like the first story that I told you guys. It's like a story that comes with a character, like. It's like it's kind of similar to Slenderman, so I think it's like like it's like a pasta. So I'm gonna be I'm reading this. So Henderson also goes on to explain 
The Sign Head isn't a human. Although Sign Head does have a voice and can possibly speak a language, specifically Sign Head does not have any eyes, so it's possible the Sign Head uses other senses in order to ornate in space like a college. I cannot read this. Through Sign Head, use of camouflage says otherwise. According to Henderson, people all over the world started sending their own photos to Henderson with the intention of having Sign Head or another tripod made by Henderson get added to the main image. What it says is like many people have seen this character that it myth. About it, I don't know if it's true, but I, I saw on TikTok like there were many clips about it. Um, yeah, let's keep reading the other part. So, Sorry Head is a 40 foot tall creature and with a heavily emaciated skeleton frame covered with dried mufflai flesh, the color of rusty metal. Its limb is disappointingly long and thin, and with arms as long and has legs ending into a huge shoulders. I call it sky, where its head neck will be thin as a full flesh inside the tank. And stunning, and several black wires snaking around its neck and into your upper shoulders, pressed down and abdomen. These speakers are on its heart. So it's talking how he looks. So I'm just gonna say this because I don't wanna read it out and I don't wanna read this video so long. So what it's trying to say is like, um, sorry, head's like very tougher, like a very tall, like 44, 44, um, character. And it's just like he's human, like he appears like in the woods and he attacks him. And he makes like weird noises, like buzzing noises like a sign will make. So So he makes like a lot of those noises, so sorry for the background noises. So when So, as an inspector, Siren Head is a very hostile and dangerous. Siren Head is mainly located in the rural camps and wooden areas. The victims of Siren Head are lost travelers, hikers, and even children. If it, the sounds of someone in distress are released, it can be a method of Siren Head heading, heading, heading to them. So, it's just like, and also it's just like the... He could blend in many trees in the woods, so like he could blend, like in the trees, so nobody could, could catch them. So it's very scary. So hunting, like the hunting tactics that he uses, is the most common one is for hunting. Uh, used by Sarn here is blending into the environment. They usually consist of heavy woodlands and rural areas, and it has the ability to mimic the voices of people close to the victims, effectively luring them. And it is currently not known for sure what Sarn had those victims once come. Theories include that eating them or simply making them disappear without a trace, adding them to the roster of voices in the fire. So it says like they're missed. Uh, so he had eats them, or is like he uses a trace, like he uses a trace them. Like, 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 people say also that when sorry hands like so someone like uh, like they never see the person ever again. They don't see their dead body. Like, so, so how huh, I saw this, and I'm gonna tell you like a story. The they saw the, the they saw sign head. So how you guys? I'm talking about. So signings. The first sighting of sign head occurred in 1966 when a family on a vacation in Arizona desert captured an image of sign head near two telephone poles. About 30 years later, on July 16, 1995, Chad and his friend were hiking in the woods on Tenya Creek, where they found sign head be lurking. According to Chad and his friends, got snatched by something gigantic striding through the trees, which him mimicked their voices. Chad was found alive with a few injuries while the friends were gone, either taken or killed by Sarhan. In total, there have been about nine reports of Sarhan that were released by the victims. So, this, uh, 
So they say this that uh, many people have seen them. So this but in 1996, so I think like maybe it's a different creature, I don't know, but um but there's there were six reports of no nine reports of it. So there so I'm gonna read the other part so for example a photo of dry hair was posted where it appears to have a head resembling a street light standing in a position when it's trying to blend into other street lights lining it's very possible the sorry head has the ability to transform into various structures in order to be better blend into the surroundings and near its victims. However, there are also theories that sorry head is actually a hostile species that, that they were used to be a lot of creatures similar to sorry head, which a lot of the now, now decrease. And sorry head is the last remembered member of those of a species and it's always one of move to eat and survive. So what is it trying to say like that the sorry head um, is trying to blink in different environments so he could hunt any people and also say like it could be maybe like another creature that same as sorry head because many there were many creatures back then and and this one of those creatures that's still alive because I think this is not sorry head that they see because sorry here was invented in 2018 or maybe they they already know the character and they want to make like the character in 2018 so that's my opinion. so that's the story of on sorry head i think that was super creepy like when i saw it on tiktok like it was so creepy um so that's the story i found about him um, please stay safe in quarantine. Do not go outside. If you go outside, you could like work. don't forget to wear gloves and your face mask. And I'm gonna be posting this Friday, so please, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the no notification bell to stay tuned for my to get updated and to my videos when I post my videos. And also, don't forget to share and like. And yeah, guys. See you and see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, sorry.